Hey everybody, it's Mike Fahey with Toy Time. These are my hands. Once again, I know you're disappointed not to see my face. I'll flash a picture on the screen right here. There's my face. But my face is not important right now. What is important is we are playing with the latest LEGO Ideas set, uh, released last month, I think it was, in stores. Uh, this is the LEGO Maze. Here's the box for it over here, which will not get in shot. I'll get really close. Look at that. That's camera work for you. That's the Lego Maze. Comes in a big box, runs for about $69.95, $70. It's on the more expensive side for Lego ideas. And what this is, is a fully functional version of the classic Labyrinth game. Uh, you may have seen these back in the 80s when I was growing up. They were everywhere. Every gift shop had one. They were made of wood. You turn dials to swivel the board, move a marble around, and try to get it into a hole or a goal. Something like that. These were originally released in uh, by Brio in Sweden back in, say, 1946. Uh, but they caught on fire on, in America. Not literally on fire. I mean, I guess some of them did. But they caught on fire in America and they sh started showing up everywhere. And I don't think they were ever, ever officially licensed. This gained 10,000 votes on the LEGO Ideas website because it is very freaking cool. What a great idea to use LEGOs to recreate this classic game. Now, I will go ahead and show you how this works. Uh, first off, Jason Allerman uh, was the Lego fan who designed this. Uh, he did a brilliant job. Now you'll notice we have knobs on either side of the board, but they're not doing much. That's because the way this was designed, uh, we have a brick here that you cannot see right now. But that comes off and pulls off this little box. And inside this box are balls, or marbles, but they're really balls. So this container serves as both both a stop for when you're transporting the unit, as well as a handy storage device. Let's go ahead and put this here. Now there is one more block over here, and that just... Well, that just fell into the thing. Hopefully it'll still work. So, oh, I've already failed. I've already failed. So the idea here is, and I'm going to fail... not to get them into the pits. I almost had it there, but then I got them into the pits. Got to reset it. Okay, so we want to go for, far over. Ah, in a pit. In a pit. But as you can see the functionality, we have two different... We have a forward and back here and a forward and back on the other axis. It's very, very cool how this works. Now, I can actually show you how it works if I do this right. Uh, let's see if I can take this out without destroying the whole entire thing. First, put the ball away. Here. And then this table plate thing. And it's actually in there pretty snug. There we go. So this is the table plate. And what's cool about this is you can actually take these bits off and reconfigure it any way you want. Which is different from the original maze game, of course, which was just made of wood or steel or whatever. Now let's look inside here real quick so I can show you the mechanisms, as well as this black box that shouldn't be in there. And it's really, really quite simple and ingenious. We have like a little knob here. See that yellow lever moving? Moves it back and forth. Simple Lego pieces. Same over here. The two parts of the frame are held together with a little rod here. And that's very cool. Now you'll also notice that I have many extra pieces here. Uh, the official handbook, which is here, very thick and meaty, as with all idea handbooks, comes with two suggestions for putting together tables. I'm going to go ahead and put the second one together in real time. First, I've got to take all the bits off this and just sit there and watch while I do this. One real time later... We have this. That boring little ball maze is now a magnificent medieval village. Little houses on the hillside made of Lego blockies. Some little tower, a little tunnel to go through, a fortress to make yourself go into. Let's see if we can... Oh, look at that. I took off a little bit of the piece there trying to get it in. Let's go ahead and put this in. And there we have... The Lego Castle Maze. Grab a ball from our ball cup. Now, in, as I said real time, I was joking, of course. This took about a half hour to swap out. Um, I might get some more black plates and pieces and make my own and keep them separate. 
Uh, and there are serving suggestions in the back of the manual here that tell you different ways you can uh, you can play, or different ideas for playing. Uh, this house does nothing. So where do I start? Where do I start? I will start here in the fortress castle and try to make my way in the world today, which takes everything I've got. Oh, son of a biscuit. We're going to cheat. We're not going to cheat enough. Oh, tilt. 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 Oh, go through the tunnel. Go through the tunnel. Or get trapped. You get the basic idea here. Now, the whole entire thing, uh, the base and everything, probably about two hours, maybe three hours. Uh, it comes in a lot of bags. I'll toss up a picture here. It comes in a lot of bags that are unmarked. I sorted everything by color first to make it easier. Which is something I hardly ever do, but the sheer amount of bags uh, was daunting. It was, it was daunting. But this is a neat recreation of a classic toy. Uh, using a, another classic toy, basically. This is the Lego maze, available everywhere Lego Ideas sets are sold, or at the Lego shop, whatever, for $69.95. I can tilt it, I can tilt it, there we go. And I'm trapped again. I'm going to make a maze with no holes, and that way I can finish it. Thanks for watching, everybody.